Hi everybody! I'm doing a 30 minute soul journey session so I'm going to be sharing energy work and wisdom for a client. I'm going to go ahead and read the goals here and then I'm going to be getting connected and we'll see where spirit takes us. Okay, so it says, Hi Abby, I've been strongly encouraged by my guides to seek out your services. I'm very interested in learning how to be the brightest version of myself and I'm also looking to remove anything that does not serve that purpose. Okay. Interested in learning how to be the brightest version of myself. Okay. Looking to remove anything that does not serve that purpose. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and relax here. All right, so right now I'm just, I mean, there's there seems to be drapery and it's very thin and kind of sheer. Like I can kind of see through it. It's golden in color. It doesn't really shine, but it's pretty looking. It's elegant looking and it kind of drapes down, but there's lots of layers of this. So I'm sort of walking through these like curtains or drapes of this pretty material. And I sort of move it out of the way as I kind of move through here. Ah, but it's not necessarily easy to, it's like I keep seeing this pretty stuff, but this pathway, I mean, it's almost like I'm on this, this beautiful pathway, but it hasn't helped me to reach that place that I am trying to be. I'm, I'm still walking through these pretty drapes. It's a beautiful pathway, but it's not taking me there. It's like, I'm not, I'm not there yet. Like I really want to be in this extraordinary place, but it's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's a great path, but it's not, I'm not there yet. I'm not where I want to be yet. So, and I reach a point on this path, this beautiful path, right? <laughs> and, uh, it's just kind of like dismal. Okay. It's like, it's kind of the flat side of where you want to be and where the pathway has taken you thus far. Like you're really ready to scale the mountain here of possibilities and how great and awesome that it can feel to get there. And it's just a bit flat, you know, and there's no more of these pretty drapes and we're just seeing kind of like a, I don't know, it's dirt, um, there's nothing growing here, it's kind of rounded, um, kind of cave-like, but not necessarily a cave, and you know, just kind of flat, dismal, and I feel like the pathway stops here. Like, if I continue, I'm not really going anywhere, I'm not getting anywhere, so it just sort of feels like the path stops here. Okay, so... So the pathway to going higher, okay, the to where you're wanting to reach, um, we're gonna actually have to go down, all right? So um, to go up, you must go down. <laughs> That's the way of the universe, okay. Um, but when I say we need to go downward, it's sort of like we gotta go into whatever has hurt you in your current life or any other lives, whatever makes you vulnerable, whatever makes you, um, you know, not the most uh, strong and sturdy version of yourself that you could be. We want to look at those um, parts of you. We want to go into those spaces, love them, you know, face them, embrace them, and then bam, you're, wow, you've just scaled the mountain, you know, you're, you're finding yourself, you're becoming who you are, you're accepting who you are, you're loving who you are on a whole new level, just by looking at who you are. And when you look at who you are, no matter what it looks like, no matter, you know, even if it's like, I don't want to look at that, but if you look at it, you know, it's, you'd be amazed about how, how it can transform you, the way that you are experiencing the human world and the spirit realm and everything. All right, so where it feels like it ends here, um, really it is beginning here because we're gonna go through this dismal, but it's starting to feel a little bit gloomier. I don't know how gloomy this is really gonna get. I'm not, like, I don't feel like it's really going to take me into like some scary locations, but maybe. 
Um, but I do feel these drapes have been, you know, you've spent enough time in the pretty drapes, but it's not really, it's not the, that thickness. It's not that, it's kind of, it's too superficial anymore because you want more depth. I mean, you want more magic. You want more of the real stuff. Okay, so. <sighs> All right, I'm, I'm looking at the pathway. I'm like, I'm ready and nothing happens. <laughs> it's like, I'm ready and I'm like ready to go down into this and like literally like the engine just stops or something like, I'm like, wait, what's going on here? How come I'm not moving? <laughs> so just wait a minute. All right, this is gonna get a little weirder. All right, there. this is interesting about the topsy-turvy Alice in Wonderland style directions. We gotta go up, or we gotta go down in order to go up. And we gotta go, in, go straight in order, you know, but I'm going straight ahead to go downward, but yet um, I'm not going anywhere at all, and I've already reached the destination. And I'm literally turning around and I see what is behind me has changed. And uh, it's feeling kind of uncomfortable. I'm, I'm a bit confused because I feel like if I go in this direction, it's supposed to take me in that direction. But then it's, it's confusing. You know, I didn't expect that. And now I'm, I'm kind of um, like my expectations are not what I thought. Like it's very confusing. That is, this is a very good example of the spirit realm. I deal with this stuff all the time. It's like, okay, if I do this, then this will happen. And then that never happens. It's like, no matter what I do, it's never the outcome that I anticipated would happen. And so I just stop trying. Like I just, okay, just show me where to go. Just take me where to go and whatever happens, happens. So I just keep the door open to literally anything happening, okay? So don't get attached to direction <laughs> is kind of what this is looking like here. Um, and don't think that uh, point A is gonna take you to point B because point A may very well take you to like point negative um, like 17. And we're on the alphabet, so how did we get to negative 17? None of this makes any sense. That's the spirit realm for you. Okay, so you turn around. I'm turning around, so we're working as one here. And we're looking at the drapes from the other side, and they look kind of um, infected, to be honest. They're really pretty, but if you're turning around to see what they really look like, they have like weird black spots, and it looks like black mold um, on them. Um, they aren't um, as wonderful a drapes as we thought they would be. And I, I'm, we're two right now, okay? Two people working as one. Um, so I'm standing next to you and um, I'm telling you it, it's okay to see things for as they are. Sometimes we want things to be um, more beautiful than it really was. You know, we could kind of do that sometimes. We don't want to face like the raw reality. It wasn't as awesome as I made it out to be. I just really wanted it to be that awesome. So I just said it really was that awesome. And so, yeah, it's, it's not as wonderful as we thought. And no wonder it was getting thin and kind of superficial feeling because um, it wasn't you anymore. I mean, you outgrew this and now we're seeing kind of a different color here, a different side of things. You're in shock here, like you don't know what to make of this. And I say, well, just go explore. I mean, just go look around and, and process it. Give yourself some time to process this. Oh, there's like gross patches of black mold and they're like lily pads all over these big like drapes of beautiful golden curtains, but nothing shines, nothing glows here. And it feels dirty and gross, like um, too many cigarette smoke um, had gotten on curtains that we didn't realize were so tarnished by the cigarette smoke. Like, it got like this. <sighs> this could also be reflective of some aspects of your life today. Um, maybe we really were giving it our best shot, but in the end it wasn't as awesome of an experience as we had hoped, but we're not going to be brought down. Like we're going to keep staying positive, but it's almost like sometimes you just got to stop and just look at it for what it was or what it is. Um, and your relationship with that from a new angle, like you got to feel it more. <sighs> 
you you're like I don't know you still don't know what to make of this you're actually touching this like lily pad of black mold and the curtains are starting to fall apart and you like come down and it looks like a rickety old like haunted house type it's like a weird it's like I could imagine ghosts here I could imagine like moldy wood and like old dusty cobwebbed covered furniture <laughs> like like strange drapes in the middle of a hallway like it just doesn't but it's like uh, tattered and falling apart it's old it's really old just forgotten it's it's just old rotten it's it's no good why why is this still here okay I'm gonna have to come up with something because you're just still touching this fabric and you know it's getting worse and worse like this is looking worse and worse and you don't know you don't know what to make of this like you don't even have a thought in your head you're just like in awe like you're just shocked here and everything's just getting more and more tarnished and and old and and uh it just it just looks like this needs to be it look it's starting to turn into an old rotten house that needs to be um, demolished. It's like way too bad. You don't even want to step in here because you might fall through the floor. Like it's just old rotten stuff. It's old stuff. You see how we just uh, choose to go down in order to go up and then we go nowhere. We turn around and we realize that we were already down there just by choice. <laughs> so we are kind of going through that like lower level stuff so we can clean it out and help you get um, to a higher vantage point. So I'm, I'm trying to jumpstart your mind and your throat and I'm telling you, I just want you to speak. Even if it sounds like gibberish, I need you to just say something. I need you to at least try to get some words out. Um, to say something. I was really pushing her. All right, I'm going to have to help this part of you. Um, so give me a second here. I'm like stepping into you right now. Okay, I'm like touching this. and uh, but, but it was beautiful before. It was once beautiful. Um, I, I don't understand. It was so beautiful at one time. I don't understand this. I don't understand this. Okay, so let me see what my response is to this. Hmm. Okay, my response is, uh, has to do with what is true beauty. I mean, you could look at the most gorgeous supermodel will one day be an elderly person in a nursing home, you know? And beauty is is not necessarily how beautiful it looks in appearance, um, but the beauty of the soul, you know? There's beautiful aspects of, of everybody, no matter what. There always are. Um, but this is just, it's just like it's run its course, you know? This is just simply something that has run its course. Um, and now we're just really looking at it in a new way. So let's find something beautiful about how it is transformed into this. Um, let's see if we can. Let's see if we can find something beautiful here. I'm going to step back into you and see what you say. Ah. So there's a part of you that's rising to the surface and you feel like this is a mark up on yourself. Um, it's kind of embarrassing to you. Like... Uh, um, this is how you keep your home or something and I, I'm just in shock of how you keep your home and you know I should be so disappointed in you that you would let it get this bad or something um, so you're kind of like uh, you're feeling ugly and ashamed in a way and that's not at all what I, I've got going on here it's just you you got some stuff that this, these are some wounds here what does this have anything to do with your life today? Um, your deeper essence knows all about this, is related to this experience here emotionally, the thought process of it, the communication of it. Every part of your deeper essence understands what's going on here, okay? And that's part of the energy work happening. And as this uh, transforms, because we're gonna get to we're gonna get to the conclusion of all this, you're gonna start feeling brighter in your heart, okay? So, all right, so you're bringing out this kind of um, monster type, and you're, but you're really ashamed and embarrassed, like. And I'm just, um, I'm waiting for my own inner voice to come forward. 
And I say, uh, this is a very interesting place. I've never stepped into a place like this before. It kind of reminds me of Halloween. I, I like it because it does remind me of Halloween. Um, maybe you could show me around. I, I think it's great. <laughs> and you're kind of like, so if I think this space is great, then I think you're great. Like if I can be okay with this place, then that means I can be okay with you. And uh, so I, me saying these kind things actually allows this part of you to feel beautiful inside. And feel that you can be loved. And uh, that you're special too. And that you could um, bring awesome memories to me of like really fun times on Halloween kind of thing. Like, it's, it's a wonderful feeling that you're starting to glow inside yourself. And uh, you're still a bit um, confused by it all because you didn't even really, like you're, you're wondering where am I and what is going on because you're starting to flicker um, about, well, I don't know how to walk around this place because I don't even know what this place is. But yet you flicker back to this sort of monster type that um, could actually show me around, but you're very stuck. You're very unsure of, of what, like, who am I? Am I the monster that knows about this house or am I the person that is seeing this from the outside trying to make sense of this? Or, you know, so you're kind of stuck in translation of what this place is and your relationship with it. What does this mean for your pathway and all of this? And I say, it's okay to be both. It's okay to be confused wondering what this is. It's okay to be the guilt, feel ashamed monster who is now feeling brighter inside and more beautiful. Um, it's okay to be all of these types of yourself. It's okay to be all these different types of yourself. All of them are correct. I'm literally saturating more of who you are in the raw spiritual realm, okay? Because the raw spiritual realm is going to be a totally different experience. They aren't going to lie to you. They aren't going to sell you something. They aren't here to show you an idea. Um, you know, they're here to really get into the depths of who you are and help you to see those depths and to bring that deep wisdom out because that's actually what you're wanting to access. It's sort of like, there's so many like gimmicks even in the in like you can go here and and try you know do this cleanse dec decalcify your pineal gland or whatever you know take this for, for you know do this fast or whatever you know there's all this types of um but i find that to be very human um but there's something so much deeper than the human um and that deep wisdom will tell you will guide you I mean, my spirit guides have never told me to take this product in order to um, raise my vibration. <laughs> what they do show me, not tell me, they show me things about my emotions, about my relationship with why I'm making these choices or why am I saying that thing? Do I actually feel that way or am I just reacting that way? Um, and when you get more deep down inside of who you are, that's when your true spirit starts to glow brighter. That's when you become more connected to wisdom. And wisdom is the most profound of all the spiritual realms, right? Wisdom. So there's something but it's about wisdom, right? If you were to explore the energy of wisdom and what that, that, that's that awing energy, right? And then um, take this to decalcify your pineal gland in order to open your third eye. It's like wisdom, gimmick, <laughs> you know, like human mind, ego based spiritual uh, attainments. <laughs> wisdom. Wisdom is a process. Wisdom is, uh, um, is challenging. Wisdom is listening, is patience, is um, is depth, is going to deeper places, is looking at what is truly there, is having a relationship with that, but not feeling debilitated by it, coming to peace with it, seeing the beauty within the debilitated places. That is wisdom right there. 
but on the human level you'd be like ew that, that is something that we need to get away from that is something we need to get rid of you know banish the the evil spirits you know it's like that's not actually getting to know why that's not getting into the depths of of what it, it all means and and understanding what that means in connection with you because you're literally connected to everything so this conversation here is being spoken in your deeper levels in this place, okay? Where you're kind of going back and forth and having these re reactions. We're definitely making progress here. Because uh, it's not looking so tarnished, it's looking polished. I mean, it's like this uh, place needed to fall apart, and then beneath the surface, it's all coming out like it's polished marble, and it's it's glowing, it's bright, and it's a it's a chamber of love. It's a a house of true love. It's interesting because in the physical world, we we've, we've got to dust the the house of love, right? But in the energy world, how do we dust the 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 house of love in the energy world? There, the the dust is purified with love, right? And we continue to discover who we are, and we accept those things that are difficult to accept, and we still love ourselves no matter what. And we open our heart to more discovery. And when we do that, the dust um, will reveal itself, it will be faced, and then it will be dissolved naturally. So that's how you purify your own inner chamber of love, right? You just continue to work on the discovery of self. I mean, that's really what it is to be human, is to discover yourself, or then not just um, live being human, you know? It's like there's different directions you can go, but boy, if you want to connect with a chamber of love, take the time to find out who you are, and you will grow spiritually, psychically, at so many levels. All right, you're almost there. Um, there's still a bit of a boundary between... Um, us looking at this chamber, all right, it's like a beautiful like Greek pillars that's like polished. It's a, a white color. Um, it just looks ridiculously clean and it's like a hallway and there's a just beautiful like fresh air kind of breezing through this space and there seems to be like a beautiful chair and there's a woman that is sitting on that chair and she's just waiting for us. And um, we're not able to just walk in. There's kind of a barrier. And we're still kind of in the realm of, um, you know, the house. And the, you know, holding on to the feelings, not holding on to the feelings, feeling better about it, not being sure about it, you know, all that stuff. All of it is good. All of it is correct. So we're just coming full circle here. And I ask this part of you, if you are ready to step into this chamber of love, or if you're noticing any resistance to stepping into this chamber of love, can you talk to me about it? It's too beautiful. Um, you're not worthy of it. You look like a monster. You look, but you look like you, you would shut yourself in, and nobody would want to see you. It's like an Edward Scissorhands thing, like. I think Edward Scissorhands is obviously like a beautiful character, but there's there's also fear of him, you know? He's sort of shut into this place that is falling apart. And, but you're like a monster or a monster, you know? You're, you're kind of a shut-in and you're uncertain that you're worthy of, of love this beautiful. Um, so we're going to work through this, okay? I say, what does it take for you to to trust that you are beautiful and worthy of this chamber of love? Um, what do you feel if you were to put your finger on it? Um, what do you feel that it would take? Like, where if I had this thing or I had a, this experience, then that would prove to me that I was beautiful enough that I could step into this. Now, let's see what you say. You just literally start to cry. Um, and you just cry, and you you cry, and you heave cry like you you're crying. 
Because it's just old sadness, you know? There's just a lot of old sadness, old hurt, old ways that the world rejected you or embraced you and then rejected you, you know? It's like we all have these memories. We've all been there. We all had people that we really loved and and then they kind of, things change, you know? All this stuff happens when you're human and it hurts, you know? And the world makes you feel a lot of different ways and feeling rejected too is part of the world and being human. And you're just venting out those rejections and this could come from childhood, this could come from, you know, school or home or friends, um, you know, teenager, this could come from all different ages. And all different memories. You're just literally, you're just crying out all of this old sadness. You're just crying it out profusely. I mean, it's a very toxic energy you had holding on here. Like, I mean, you're crying out fumes, stinky old fumes. And it's really good. It's really good purification. And I see this uh, beautiful woman stand up and she starts to walk. Um, gracefully, slowly, like timelessly uh, towards this where we are standing. She's just so, she's like walking on water or something. Like she's in, like it's almost like the air is like water and her hair is just sort of like dispersing out in her dress and she's just fantastic looking. She's very d dark complected and dark hair, dark eyes, and she's wearing like a white dress. She's just fantastic to look at. She's just, she's so beautiful. <laughs> she's just mesmerizingly beautiful and her heart is just so loving. I mean, it would bring tears to her eyes to see somebody feel that they were not worthy of this pathway with her. Like she doesn't want anybody to feel that way. She's just so loving. She's so sen sensitive and tender. She's so kind. Uh, she's, um, you're crying and she's here and she's reaching her hand out to you. And you actually, you actually uh, look like a leper. You look like somebody who's covered in giant, like, skin. I mean, your skin is bu bubbled out and really freakishly. You look freakish. Um, you look like you have parts of you falling off. You look like a monster. You look freakish. And uh, you just feel like all this, the ugliness of lifetimes where you were treated as though you are ugly, as though you are rejected, as though you are under quarantine, or we don't want you in this community. You know, All of this rejection is just pouring out of you. And it's pouring out into your features as well. I mean... And you don't want to hurt her with your disease. I mean, you're kind of like, like, but if you touch me, you will be diseased and infected with my, you know, with me, you know, I will hurt you if you touch me. So this is all old stuff. I mean, this is a lot of old stuff here. Ugh. And she just smiles and she just literally takes a finger and then touches your hand. Just one finger just touches your hand and just to show you that she's not afraid to touch you <laughs> I just touched your freakish hand <laughs> and she's waiting for you to choose though to embrace her hand or to reject her hand so you have to decide that she's no matter what you choose she will always love you and she'll always um, be an acceptance of that choice too. And I think you, you, I mean, I can tell you have vented so much old energies, old uh, stuff that you're starting to catch your breath and you're starting to feel strong. Um, and you're able to now acknowledge your hand and actually grasp it. And uh, she's uh, helping you into the space of love. And she's very proud of you and then this journey. I mean, you've seen so many sides of the mirror. You've seen the superficial. You've seen um, the beautiful become tarnished. You've been the ugly. You've been the, I mean, you've seen so many sides of the mirror. You've participated in so many sides of the mirror. You've participated in so many unfathomable directions that don't make any sense, but you've explored them as your soul in many lifetimes. I mean. 
I can feel and experience that here. And when you step into this chamber of love, I can now look back at what is this timeline of like, wow, you've been so many things. You've been so many different identities, very challenging ones. And she's very proud of you. And because you have vented all of this, it's allowing the truth, this fresh air to enter into your being. And it's full of truth of who you are. And it's just purifying as well. And it's helping you to remember who you are. And you look male in this image. And uh, you still don't look human. I mean, you look strange here. You have a very big head. That you have black hair and you've got um, facial hair. It's just a very, it's like a gray alien side, but it's a very big head, but it's a human looking face on a big head and human hair. And you're tall, you're really, really tall. And you dress kind of like, um, I don't know, somebody in royalty might dress. You're wearing dark, like navy blue and, um, uh, pants and like a jacket with red. You have some red colors to it. And this part of yourself is actually drying up. And uh, almost uh, completely dried up and um, it's like it's no longer necessary for this part of you to continue. Um, but to transform and then explore a new access to newness. I see him just drying up and just turning to bones and just falling into a pile, but the spirit within actually comes into this beautiful woman. She's all the colors of humanity. I mean, she's all the complexions of every human um, race here. She's all the complexions. And uh, so I see her spirit enter into her heart and she's a reflection of who you are. She's like a reflection of your higher self. She's been all the races. So you've been all the races on the earth. There still seems to be some, um, like I feel there's still some dry places um, that we could explore. And um, they, they feel dry to me, but they aren't dissolving. They're just kind of like old bones, um, to look at old bones is kind of what this feels like. And the pathways dry bones, old bones. Um, and it's just some, some just lingering stuff that your soul just wants to come full circle on. But I mean, you feel incredible. You, you've taken such a huge leap. <laughs> like, what this has all been about was just the, reaching this chamber of love, which is it within yourself, reconciling all of that um, so you could com come full circle and um, integrate in with this version of your higher self, which is you. So you can become one with who you truly are and then start to feel more of that radiance coming through you. So... The end message here is to show you, I mean, you have to take each step in order to get to the understanding of each step. And so this journey, we're taking these steps to try to make sense of what is all of this and where is this taking me and what does this direction mean and how come it's turning me back around and what is all this and now why is everything falling apart? And it's kind of um, the, the human experience, right? But all the while we're discovering the deeper soul and we're healing the deeper soul and revealing to you like how extraordinary, I mean, all the different ways that you've experienced self-expression in this human world on earth and what it's okay to let go of and to heal emotionally. And even um, just reminders here of what it is to raise your vibration or ascension or however you want to look at it. Um, it's to go within, it's to feel things, it's to ask yourself these questions. Um, you know, why am I attracted to this? Um, you know, what is it that I really like about this? 
And you can give that an answer, like let's just say, why do I like tarot cards so much? Um, hmm. Well, I just, I feel there's something magical about tarot cards. Um, and I feel that they're, they're a, a bridge between me and the spirit realm and a tool that I feel like I could work with and I want to develop my psychic gift. You know, so you, you ask this question, but why, el why, why else do you like the tarot cards? Well, I would say I've always wanted to just develop my psychic senses. So maybe I'm using the tarot cards in order to do that. But if I didn't need the tarot cards and I could just use my psychic senses, then that's actually what I'm trying to attain. Then you say, oh, so you don't, you like the tarot cards because you're wanting to open your third eye, but you don't necessarily need them. What you are wanting to access is your psychic gifts. Like, so you, you get to know yourself. You get to know why am I choosing tarot cards or why am I choosing this pathway or that pathway or why am I, why do I like the color blue or why do I, you know, you ask yourself the question and then you have to answer it. You don't say, I don't know. You don't get to say, I don't know. You answer that. And then you, you say it again, well, why, why do you like the color blue? I like it because of this. But why, why do you really like the color blue? Well, I also feel that blue reminds me of the ocean. Okay, well, why else do you like the color blue? Well, it heals me. There's something about the color blue that heals me. It's like, wow. So you like the color blue because it's a healing color for you. And now you can explore ways that you can use that wisdom in your life. Like you can wear blue and every time you put blue on, you're, you're allowing the blue color to heal you. I mean, this is how you, you ascend. This is how you, you expand yourself psychically, spiritually. I mean, this is how you do it. You don't do it just by, um, just try the next thing, the next thing without asking the question as to why am I trying this? Um, so I'm supposed to, to show you this as well. Okay. To help you. But I think that this journey is not only energetically impactful, healing of your soul, introducing you to your higher self and, and what you've um, explored as a human being, you should be very proud of yourself, um, but also just some tips on how you can continue to develop um, and just continue to get to know who you are deep down inside and bring all of that to the surface to create more new pathways. So... This is a really cool session. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you're, you felt guided to me by your spirit guides. That's so awesome. That is really great. Um, it was really a pleasure to connect with you today and thank you for sharing as well. And um, if any of you watching are interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one for a psychic session, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you all for watching. I wish you all a wonderful day.